One of the nice things about cellulose insulation, I've cut a little hole over here so I can grab some out of this brand new bag, is that it has uh, excellent fire prevention chemicals in it, borates I believe, and we just pack this up like it might be in your wall, and I'll use the bag to block our sun here, but as I try to keep this with a torch, you can see it gets brown, smokes a little bit, but does not light on fire. And of course it's got plenty of oxygen surrounding it here. Um, and uh, that would be a lot different than if this was in your sidewall, for example, where not only is this a fire retarder, but it's also going to act as a fire stop. One of the things that causes houses to burn and burn quickly is if air can flow. Hollow walls where air can flow is one of the worst things for a house. In this case, when you dense pack your side walls with cellulose, you not only prevent airflow, but you have a product that won't burn. Here I have an old piece of fiberglass insulation removed from a house where we uh, put in cellulose and dense pack the side walls. And here you can see that fiberglass also, put the torch on it, fiberglass also will flame a little bit and then just melt, but it does not continue to burn. So it in itself is a pretty good fire prevention method if you have that in your side walls or in your attic. Um, but one of the problems with fiberglass is that it usually comes faced like this with a paper. And as you can see, that burns readily and continues to burn unlike our cellulose product. So when it comes to fire safety and what product you're going to use, even though I hear a lot of insulators talk about fiberglass and because it's not a paper product it doesn't burn, here when we look at these two products, cellulose versus fiberglass, the only one that continues to burn after being exposed to high heat uh, is part of this fiberglass insulation batch.